Uh, hello everyone, uh, this is going to be a uh, short, very short episode, uh, so I'm just adding uh, some favicons and some browser related features for mobiles to website to behave like um, natively, almost natively uh, with uh, mobile phones, okay? So the, 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 the thing that you need to do basically is just to figure out uh, which resolutions you need your icons uh, and it seems like you need at least those ones right as at least that much so this one goes to the fiber cone of the website you can see it here actually i have two yeah this is all one yeah you can see it here and uh you can see it in code you can see it here right then goes mobile safari so if you add application to the home screen right so mobile safari will use one of those depending on which device you're on uh, this one is iphone so it's 2x scaling, this one is iPhone with 3x scaling. These two are different iPad models. And yeah, then there is mobile Chrome, which is a site manifest, which defines when these two icons, right? And actually the, the mobile Chrome actually lets you define the orientation. So it forces your phone to be in landscape. Safari so unfortunately cannot do that. I also used like a little bit, uh, the icons for Android has to be manually adjusted uh, for material design. So those just are just like rectangular pictures. And I also just uh, add uh, corners uh, around, and around the corners and stuff like that. But for Android, you have to do it yourself. Okay. And yeah, and then there is, um, I think there is, yeah, there is Edge. So Edge requires browser config, which defines style 150, which actually is kind of strange, but uh, who knows, I, I don't really care about the Edge. Okay, so uh, this is mostly all in this uh, change, this commit, right? I just want you to show, you, to show you how it looks like on a live phone. So I have my phone here and you should be able to see it right now, okay? So if you go to our application, which is like in this address right now, you load it up, uh, it actually like resizes as you resize it, right? And you should be able to add it to the home screen. Like if you click here, it uses the correct icon, you, it uses the title from the website. If you add it, it appears it has its own icon. It, and because we define this like, uh, this one, Apple Mobile Web App Capable, it doesn't really show any browser UI here. And the only problem is that it starts in wrong orientation, but if you start it in correct orientation, it works fine. Okay? So yeah, this is it. Uh, it also works on Android actually. So yeah, let me turn it off. Okay, so there is it. And uh, once I committed to the repository and, and compiled the minified version and committed, right, you will be able to add my application actually using this address. So basically, if you go here and add the home screen, you will get the experience on, on, your, on your phone. So that's it. Uh, not much else in this episode. One episode, one problem, right? So there's it for now. Bye bye.